you want to say? I'm here. I'm here to defend my beloved Brooklyn Nets. Oh. I'm listening. I've been listening to the show since the beginning. I'm that guest that's in the chat room right now. Okay. And I'm here to defend my beloved Brooklyn Nets because y'all been teeing off on my squad, uh, they, yo. They've been the Brooklyn Nets for seven months, please. <laughs> yes. And so we are trying to get in on the ground level so that we can say that we were there from the beginning. So, you know, it's, we're going through growing pains, you know what I'm saying? This is a part of mm-hmm. the evolution and growth of putting a product together, mm-hmm. and, you know, Avery Johnson served a purpose in the transition, you know, they, they were, you know, New Jersey, et cetera, et cetera, and, and trying to redefine the identity, you know, we, you know, making adjustments and trying to grow and evolve, and this is just a part of the process, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No okay. different than what, you know, no different than what Oklahoma went through and other people, you know, it's, it's a part yeah. of the process, so... You know, mm-hmm. we're going to ride it out, you know, and, you know, Durant is a superstar regardless. I don't, I don't know if somebody was, you know, taking shots. Durant's a superstar, man. He, you know, I thank Jeremy Lin for, for inspiring him. Inspiring. Waking him back up to his talent. That's cool. He got woke in his ass. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I think mentally he's not as, as tough as, as what he should be. He's not as mature as what he should be mentally. But physically, skill wise, right? well, I mean, physically, cool. he, he's even got no the doubt he's a physically he's a he's a beast. Um, he does have stats. It's just something yeah. missing for me. Um, I I watched Deron play in Utah, and then and you know before he came to to the New York area, and he just yeah. it's something missing. Something missing. Yeah. I can't really put my well, finger I, you on know, it. He, he, you know, he's on the Olympic team. He's got the he's got the skill set and everything. But like I say, it's, it's some intangibles that he's missing, which is like you know maturity. It plays a big part of of you know, uh, and, and he just you know he, he he needs to grow. He needs to grow as far as like understanding, you know, the the, the okay. other things in the game. You know, mm-hmm. but, uh, let, let me. Yeah, I just want to throw something out there real quick. Um, you know, I, I have to disagree with the with the numbers that he's putting up lately. You know, across the board, you know, the shooting percentage, the field goal percentage has been down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you figure he would be, you know, pretty straight across, or if not try to improve a little bit. Do you think so? I mean, it's well, obvious that it's down. You know, so so you know, maybe it's, I know he has the injuries or little nagging injuries. Maybe that has something to do with it. But but the the truth is, man, he's not the same player. He's not. Yeah. You know, he really isn't. You know, I hate to say it, but but you, you got to look at it realistically. You know, and like I said, the injuries are probably a factor. But you know, the only way to to truly find out is when he gets well, hundred percent. Then maybe we can judge him. You know. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, that's all I really wanted to say real quick. I don't know how you feel about it, Ish. You know? It's true. It, uh, yes, that's. I mean, that's definitely true. That's definitely true. I, I concur. I'm in agreement. I'm do you agreement. think? Do you think he's a coach killer as he's being labeled? I mean, everybody, everybody's calling him a coach killer right now, and it, yeah, you know, nah, it yeah, doesn't look good on him. No. It, he's the fall guy in that. I mean, you know, <laughs> Jerry Sloan. I mean, come on, they they wanted to. Go a different direction with all of that. You know, he just took the fall for that, and they got rid of both of them. And then, like the the second go round was, you know, this situation here. He had no say so over that. I think I think they cleared that up pretty pretty well. You know, he had no say so over over any of that stuff. And I don't I didn't see no history of him bumping heads with Avery, so I don't understand where that kind of came from. Again, you know, he's the most high profile player that's on that particular team. You know, is he responsible for? Dwight not coming there. I mean, if you, you know, people can blame a person for anything, but nah, <laughs> not, well, I wouldn't blame I, him for Dwight not coming there. That's just Dwight being Dwight. 